हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रुचि परिक कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी एट एस आर सी सी चिल्ड्रंस हॉस्पिटल हाजी अली मुंबई मैनेज बाय नारायणा हेल्थ केयर टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन वेरियस हार्मोनल इश्यूज सीन इन चिल्ड्रन दस ब्रेकिंग द मिथ्स डूइंग राउंड इन आर सोसाइटी दिस विल ऑल्सो गिव यू एज पेरेंट्स एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर टाइमली अप्रोच टू दी स्पेशलिस्ट विच कैन पेव द वे फॉर ऑप्टिमल मैनेजमेंट एंड आउटकम As a pediatric endocrinologist we manage children with abnormalities in the regulation of glands by these hormones which broadly deal with growth puberty thyroid and pituitary gland blood sugar calcium and vitamin D and bone disorders Growth disorders are the most common endocrine problems seen in children Growth includes height weight and body mass index It is a myth that all short children will grow taller later or girls as a gender are always short. Also it is important to understand that all chubby looking children may not have healthy weight. So it is essential to identify the short stature or excess weight. What are the red flag signs to seek the services of a pediatric endocrinologist? Children who are born early or very low birth weight 10% of these children may fail to catch up to peer appropriate growth. Children who have recently slowed down their height or growth rate. Children who had poor weight have recently put on a excess weight in a very short period of time. Or children who look shorter than their tall parents. Or children who have overweight and obesity. This overweight and obesity can track to adult obesity and related comorbidities like diabetes mellitus, hypertension, dyslipidemia stroke and heart ailments growth charts are an easy way to identify growth disorders and these are regularly maintained by pediatricians this can also be managed by parents on an app based program pubertal disorders in girls the onset of puberty is marked by the development of breast whereas in boys it is marked by the testicular growth Pubertal growth spurt is seen in girls before the onset of menstrual cycles whereas in boys before the appearance of facial hair. The pubertal age is defined by the maturation of bone rather than the actual chronological age. Hence all children may not complete growth and puberty at the same age. What are the red flag signs to seek the opinion of a pediatric endocrinologist? If the onset of puberty is delayed by 13 years of age in girls and by 14 years of age in boys or if the onset of puberty happens earlier than 8 years in girls or earlier than 9 years in boys in girls if there are irregularities in the menstrual cycles or if they have missed the cycles for more than 6 months after an initial regular monthly cycles disorders of thyroid gland in children Most common dysfunction of thyroid gland is hypothyroidism which means there is decreased secretion of thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland This can affect children right from newborn to adolescent age group Hence all babies who are born are screened for thyroid function tests to detect hypothyroidism as this can affect growth brain maturation developmental milestones metabolism and subsequently puberty Rarely children can have excess secretion of thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland which is called as hyperthyroidism. What are the red flag signs to seek an opinion from pediatric endocrinologist? Babies who have missed or who have not been screened for thyroid function test at birth. Children who have developed midline neck swelling. Children who have short stature, constipation, sluggishness and recent deterioration of school performance. or children who have weight loss tremors palpitation that is feeling of owns heartbeat intolerance to heat and staring eyes blood sugar abnormalities insulin is the hormone secreted by pancreas which regulates blood sugar levels in our body high blood sugar level or diabetes mellitus is also seen in children these children present with weight loss excess urination or excess thirst this kind of diabetes is called type 1 diabetes or juvenile onset diabetes 
Children who have obesity can develop adult onset or type 2 diabetes which requires multidisciplinary management. Rarely children less than 6 months of age can have neonatal onset diabetes mellitus which is due to genetic abnormalities in the insulin hormone. Like high blood sugar levels, children can also develop low blood sugar levels which is called as hypoglycemia. This is most commonly seen in newborn or infantile age group where these children have seizures or conversions which are of unknown etiology and hence needs endocrine evaluation and management to prevent further injury to growing brain. Calcium, Vitamin D and Bone Disorders These children can have recurrent fractures or can develop rickets or abnormal looking limbs or have abnormal looking dentition or gum swelling or have seizures which are of unidentified origin. Children with different looking genitals or absent testes from scrotum or small looking penis should seek an opinion from pediatric endocrinologist besides pediatric surgeon or urologist. Also children who have chronic illness related to kidneys, joints or bones, cancers or ailments like epilepsy, thalassemia etc. They can have endocrine issues in the wrong, long run due to the underlying illness or their management. It can affect growth, puberty, thyroid and pituitary gland. Hence these children need screening to identify these issues for timely management. Thus it is important for parents to have an awareness for endocrine issues in children which can help to identify early in time and hence lead to a better management and outcome.